Introduce yourself and tell me this, you. Hey, good morning, sir. Uh, we contractor workers working in the Trinma oil fields. We are here today hoping that we could meet with the president of Petrotrin because we have some outstanding issues where it comes down, all comes down to the end of the day is a wage issue. We, the workers here, we have workers here from IOCL, we have workers here from TML, Trinidad Marina Launch, we have workers here from ARS Sing. We are all suffering the same fate. And the fate we are suffering, we are asking for is equity. We have been struggling for this equity for the past four years now. It's nothing new. Um, what we are asking for is the minimum wage, the minimum wage rates in Trinma, which we are far removed from that, very, very far removed. We're not even getting half of the minimum wage in Trinma. And we says, enough is enough. Enough with the discrimination. We are doing all the offshore work, on the outside, our job function is to carry cargo and passengers to the Trinma oil fields. Right now, IOCL workers, IOCL workers have been in strike action now. This is about 29 day of strike, 29 day of strike. And we decided that because things are, seem to be going unanswered, we are here this morning to see if we can get or demanding that we can see the president of Petrotrin so that we can get some answers from the very top. Because at the end of the day, all we are asking for is, 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 is what Trinma, it is Trinma's guidelines, Trinma policies, their protocol, in their collective agreement, how contractors should treat with their employees in the Trinma environment. And one of the main things is the wage rate at this point pay in time. The minimum All we are asking is to pay the minimum wage in Trinma. Pay the minimum wage rates in Trinma. Because we have here, sir, we operate on the marine, the marine front. We are all professional seafarers here. Captains, engineers, able-bodied seamen. And we carry everybody offshore and bring that back in safely, day and night. And it is only fair that we are asking for equity here at this point in time. Because if you make a comparison, which you don't really want to go, but laborers, the laborers under Trinma, laborers' wage rates are nearly 60% more, 60% more than the wage rates that we are getting as, 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 as captains and engineers and able body seamen. And all we are asking for, sir, all we are asking pay for minimum wage. is pay the minimum wage. And what we do understand is that IOCL, which has secured recently the most lucrative contract, the most lucrative contract, the lion's share of the contract yeah. in terms of the boating industry, right? I don't know what is this complaint about, but all we know is that this struggle has started four years ago and we understand variations has been IOCL put for IOCL it. workers. All these, all these contractors, IOCL, TML, ARS thing. We the workers have made the struggle, they have gotten the variations and they have refused, they have refused to pass on the monies to the workers and to adjust the wage rates to the minimum wage. All they have refused to do that and all we are asking for is the minimum, minimum wage. Minimum. That is all we are asking for. Minimum nothing more, nothing less. That is all we are asking for. What we are asking for also, anything we say here, make it be clearly that is serious, serious thing. What? You know, sir. Being in the 29 day of strike on IOCL, and we know for a fact that Trinma production, Trinma production has taken a serious dip. And in 25 days, sir, in 25 days, 20, 29 days, sorry, 29 days, right? That nothing has been resolved at this point in time, and we don't understand why it is Corruption. that 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 Trinma management, Petrotrin management, Corruption. is allowing these contractors, Corruption. and mainly, mainly. Scott Polony, right, True. CEO of, of IOCL, True. allowing the tail to wag the dog here. Because True. at this point in time, it's the patrimony of the nation, it's the people's money that everything is on standby because of these contractors, Something these unscrupulous contractors. And somehow we, we, we understand that it seems to be that there's some collusion, and we say it again, going wrong with petrotrim management and these contractors. Because, because, sir, as of this point in time, nothing is happening to these contractors. They are just doing their own thing. They have crippled the operation in Trinma, and no one seems to be addressing that important fact. 
Corruption. No one seems to be Corruption. addressing that important fact. Corruption. And all we are asking for again is equity and for the minimum wage. That is all we are asking for. Yeah. We, the marine workers, working in the trade yeah, yeah, environment, yeah. in the trade yeah. 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 My name is Ronald Williams. I am the shop steward of IOCL workers. I am also a captain on the, in working in the trade mar fields. I've been working for a captain now for IOCL, going for 13 years. And, you know, many of us here is 20 years service working in the oil fields. And um, we, make an, we, we want to make a statement that our labor, our labor, the type of work that we do, it, 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 it is very important. It is very important, sir. Right? And embarrassing, and embarrassing to us is, is a lack of respect we're going through here. When we're working amongst people, where we can say, as I say, you know, laborers and cleaners, uh, 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 their, their money is, 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 is nearly 100% more than, our, than yeah. ours. All we want is, is fairness. Fairness. Equity. That's all we want. Equity. That's all we want. Justice. Pay us our minimum rate in yeah, petrol yeah. trend. Yeah. And, and you know, in addition, in addition, the OWTU, since we started this struggle, right, towards this minimum wage, the OWTU has requested an audit. They have requested the outcome of the audit. We had the Minister of Labor, Labor Minister. Minister of Labor, Labor Minister, Minister of Energy intervened, intervened with Petrotrain Management and with the OWTU. A mandate was given. A mandate was given. Since the October. Yes, that Petrotrain should provide the, the outcome of the audit and as of today as of today that audit is still not complete and there have to be reasons there have to be reasons why that audit is not complete or that audit is not being handed over so that mandate that they got that mandate that they got and they refused to, 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 to produce that audit it seems that something smelling Corruption. not right something Corruption. not right Corruption. and, 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 and they, they don't want the truth to be revealed they don't want the truth to be revealed that is it Clearly as that, as daylight. And we can understand why it is that Petrotrain allowing these contractors, they gave the contractors the money to pass on to the workers, and they have not policed that. They have just put it in their hands and have not policed that. And here we are today, hoping that we could meet with the president, that we could get some form of answer, we could get answer with the president. Thank you, sir.